relic what's up guardians welcome to another destiny gameplay video uh, this is a video i've been really excited to uh post and uh, been planning on doing this for over a week now uh, last week we had the salvage playlist in the uh crucible so i uh i played a ton of it and i, I really did have just a ton of fun uh, playing salvage this week and uh, I actually had to throw out half of my footage because uh, I'd collected so much really good footage that um, this video if I had um, picked footage from all the other games that I had recorded it would have been like half an hour long so I'm guessing you guys don't have half an hour to spare so anyways I just kind of uh, threw out half the games well I still kept them for maybe another time but uh I just uh, didn't include them in the video, but I wanted to share some of my highlights and uh, some of my tips. Now, the first thing, and you'll see this in, in these clips right here, that uh, I want to talk about is just how important team wipes are to uh, winning salvage matches. You really have to be just downright ruthless in salvage if you want to win. So you push the offensive, you uh, wipe their team if you can, and uh, get, get a double assist here. My blueberries in this game are actually pretty good. That rarely happens. But uh, anyways, push the offensive really hard. you got to be really, really ruthless. And uh, use your supers at the right times. Like right here, they're capping uh, one of the relics. And so I figured this would be a good time to pop my super and uh, get a team wipe here. So that's what I do. You get the team wipe. And what that does is now we get a lot of points for uh, the, uh, the disarm. And uh, they have to all respawn, and they don't maybe don't always respawn in the same place. Now this game here, you just see this is the very beginning of the match for me. I spawned in here, and it's f over 5,000 to 1,400 at this point. So it's looking really, really dire. And so I spawned into this game. Obviously, took the place of someone who quit out of it. But uh, I I ended up going on a 24 kill streak for the uh, Prevailed Unbroken Metal and uh, salvaging this game, pun intended there. And uh, anyways, we came back and we won it. And it was it was really, really awesome, pretty intense. Get the triple kill here to wipe their team. Go ahead and revive my blueberry and uh, make my way up to the, the high heavy because I'd gotten the low heavy. I knew that uh, they I'd just wiped their team. So hopefully they wouldn't get to that high heavy first. Uh, just one guy got to it, which is solid. You know, we went one on one and I took him out, which means that I, me and the one blueberry that was close to the heavy are the only people now who have heavy ammo. So that's that's always great. Controlling heavy is a big deal. And I I, I say always prioritize heavy ammo. If, if a new relic pops up at the same time that heavy ammo pops up, go for the heavy. It's going to be well worth it. Uh, you, you'll get more points with your heavy ammo than you'll get with one relic capture. And, uh, and disarming the relic relatively early in the process uh, can get you more points than they got for capturing it to begin with. So I highly recommend prioritize heavy all the time. Let that take a number one priority. So with this relic I decide my blueberries are there in that choke point so I'm actually going to wrap around this side to kind of uh, get a different angle. Sure enough, this guy is, I mean, he's not suspecting it at all. And uh, he's too focused on my blueberries to watch his radar. And uh, that's a big part of winning salvage matches is kind of coordinating your movements as a team. Even when you're playing solo, you can, like, like I just did there, keep an eye on what your blueberries are doing, where they're at, and then move accordingly so that you can kind of sandwich players in between uh, the, the three of you. So I had, a, I had a ton of fun because, you know, if you watch my videos, you know I normally play my Warlock. That's my main. And uh, I just I had a ton of fun because I switched to my Hunter. I dusted off my Hunter and took him into the Crucible and uh, decided to use some weapons that I don't, I don't normally use. So I'm uh, rocking Patience and Time, which was, it was a lot of fun to use this gun. Uh, I really like Patience and Time. The only thing I don't like about it is the impact being uh, so low. It can't one-shot enemies off a of revive which is a bummer in uh, salvage and in um, uh, skirmish because that, that's something you really want out of a sniper rifle so you see the score uh, we had a we had one fifth of their points when I first spawned in and then now we're uh, up on them almost 2,000 points so we really turned the tides of this game uh, controlled the heavy both times that it spawned and um, 
you know, the game's got 30 seconds left here. I decided to go ahead and uh, pop my super to defend the relic here. Just wanted to, I was really getting gun happy. I wanted to wrap this uh, match up and I wanted to get my unbroken because I knew I hadn't died yet. So uh, I was really nervous when that Titan did his uh, super. I was, I was nervous that he was going to, uh, that he was going to get me, but he was aiming at my blueberry instead, luckily. And then, um, You're in overtime. managed Show to the just get a few board. kills here at the very end to, uh, wrap the game up. Relic well done. I and there it is, the prevailed speed. unbroken. And, uh, it was, it was just a really fun match. I actually got some, uh, I got a message after the match. Usually when I get messages after matches, it's, it's the kind of thing that, is designed to hurt your self-esteem but this guy was actually like hey man you're really dangerous with that uh with that sniper so i was shout out to gilco gilchrist or gilchrist i don't know how you pronounce your name but uh he was a he was a solid player and he was a sportsman like individual so shout out to him and right here this is you're going to find yourself in this situation a lot in the salvage playlist where you and your blueberries or you and your teammates are, um, you're trying to either capture or defend the relic and uh, it, you're just gonna get in this brawl where you constantly are reviving and dying and dying and reviving uh, your teammates and you're just trying to you're trying to stay one man up on uh, your enemies here and so right there I got the one sniper round into that guy and then I actually dropped back let blueberry finish him off because blueberry had more health than I did and then I go down here we go one for one blueberry picks me up um, not this blueberry, but the that guy gets the uh, he chucks a throwing knife and then chases him down. Good job, David CDZ. You're a solid blueberry. Salvage. Picks me up. Relic salvage. 200 points. So you're gonna be in those kinds of uh, big brawls where you're gonna have to uh, you're gonna have to uh, die and revive and kind of try to just stay one man up. And so right here, we just captured the relic, and uh, the countdown is going. But like I said, you always want to prioritize heavy because heavy is going to matter more than the points you'll get with the uh, the relic nine out of ten times so yeah this was just I just had so much fun dusting off old weapons you'll see in a, another clip I I uh, I'm using Praetis Revenge or I'm sorry uh, Praetis Timepiece right here the pulse rifle which is actually it's a really solid pulse rifle and um, in a later clip I'm using the uh, red hand ignore that terrible sniping by the way I was trying to get used to this uh, sniper at this point in the uh, in the week because I'm so used to the longbow and the uh, LDR. So, uh, anyways, so I pulled out like the red hand, which used to be my number one weapon in the game. I used to use the red hand more than anything else in the game. Uh, I also, I also pulled out of the uh, um, the vault my old devil, you know, and I used that as well. So I really I had a blast. It was just a lot of fun. That guy right there, this is what I want to talk about next. This blinking hunter that's evading me, driving me nuts. I'm like, ah, I gotta chase him down, I gotta get the kill. Yeah, that's Jack Taddy. And he is a really solid PvP crucible player. And I actually ran into him in the crucible three separate times, three separate days, in three separate playlists over the course of the past week. So I uh, ran into him here in Salvage, and um, we decided uh, we just decided to, to team up. We were on the opposite uh, teams of each other for, like, I think, three games straight. And uh, we were uh, each on top of our team's leaderboard. So eventually, you know, we exchanged some messages, and then I went ahead and, and um, sent him a friend request. And we joined forces for the Salvage uh, playlist for, like, a solid, I don't know, probably hour and a half to two hours. It was a whole lot of fun. And, um, and you see him here. We ended up just working together. He pops his super, and we sandwiched these guys, got the disarm, and uh, we really worked pretty well together as a team. And uh, it was a lot of fun to, anytime you can guarantee that you have one solid teammate, that's a really good, that's really good in uh, salvage and in skirmish, because you never really know with your blueberries. So Jack Taddy, um, shout out to him for tearing it up with me in uh, Salvage. He's a real solid player. New relic so uh, here we wipe the team, I revive him, and then one of the things that we did well was communicate on uh, super usage. And I'll talk about that in a sec, but before I do, uh, here's a tip for you. When we captured this relic, what I actually did, since I had heavy, 
is these guys when they're running at the relic you know because they can see the relic big red emblem or whatever on their uh on their hud so they're running straight towards it but they're not being cautious in these rooms before the relic because they're not expecting you to be there so i actually pushed forward into that um the low heavy room there and was able to to wipe their team and that gives us a, a lot more points obviously for not just for the kills but for the time that the uh the relic is still uh in our possession that they're not able to uh take it down so that's now two team wipes with this heavy and uh, i'm working on the third here get the reign of terror so uh and then another thing that um jack taddy and i did was alternating supers it's really good to communicate when you're going to pop your super so i popped mine here he actually dropped back like you see there i uh get the team wipe here the they made out. me work for Shut it though down. get the uh, one combustion kill war, but it's a good start good and work. then uh you'll see i think it's this clip where uh, i pop my super i come in here get the quick team wipe and then uh, start working on the uh, de deploying the probe. And this is, as soon as we finished capping it, this is just like 10 seconds later, Jack Taddy pops his super. He had picked up my orbs, and then he gets a team wipe there, goes one on three, and wipes them, which is very well timed. And now he's down at the low heavy, I'm up at the high heavy, and uh, now we control all the heavy. So, it, like I said earlier, this is uh, winning salvage is all about being as ruthless as possible. Like, you can't have any mercy. So uh, we kind of demoralized these guys by alternating supers at the right time so that we could control all the heavy on the map, and we wrapped that game up easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So um, yeah, we just had a blast. We really had a really good time with it. And you'll see um, in that last game I showed you footage from, Jack Taddy outscored me. He was a 5.2, so shout out to him. If you ever see him in the Crucible, be wary. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Hope it was helpful to you, and uh, we'll catch you later. Thanks for stopping by.